Well, it is hard to believe, but this week marks 20 years since U.S. Army Specialist Lori Paestawa was killed in combat. The hero from Arizona became the first Native American woman killed in combat. Team Charles Bianca Bono spoke to Paestawa's son and mother about the past two decades and the legacy that she left behind. For the past 20 years, Brandon White Rock has faced impossible questions. Why did God have to take my mom so early? Questions he's had to ask since he was just four years old, now 24, and a year older than his mom was when she was killed in the line of duty. Her service in the military actually brought everyone together. On March 23, 2003, U.S. Army Specialist Lori Paestawa was deployed in Iraq on a convoy when they were ambushed. Paestawa, her best friend, and roommate and others taken prisoner, and Paestawa wouldn't survive, marking a grim milestone. The first woman service member to die in Iraq. 20 years later, her family reflects. A death of a, a military person does not just affect the kids, doesn't just affect the parents, it affects the whole community. But they say there have been many moments over the past two decades that make it clear Piastawa is still a part of them. You hear a voice or you feel a presence and you know who it is. White Rock says his mother's story and sacrifice was difficult to learn about, but ultimately motivating him to find his purpose, working in veteran and military services at NAU. It taught me that freedom is not free. And once you sign that on um, your name on that dotted line, you are signing basically your life. Now, as Paestua's family prepares to head to the valley for a reception in her honor, much like the mountain bearing Paestua's name, they are keeping Lori's legacy alive and standing tall. There was a time in my life where I dreaded this day so much. Now I look forward to this day because it brings all my mom's comrades together who I consider my aunts and uncles now. And I asked the family how they'd like the community to honor Lori Paestua this week. They said to visit Paestua Peak, a place meant to honor all fallen soldiers and to say thank you to a military service member or veteran. Bianca Bono, 12 News.